forest has so many definitions. Scholars and foresters around the world have their own interpretations, elucidations, and explanations of what forest is. Brown and Pierce, in their book, The Cause of Tropical Deforestation, define forest as an ecosystem composed of a minimum of 10% crown cover of trees and bamboos, which is associated with wild flora, fauna, and soil conditions, and not subjected to agricultural activities. The definition may sound a little complicated for ordinary people, so let me define forest in the simplest way I can. Forest is the home to a vast number and variety of species of plants, animals, and other organisms. These species and organisms interact with each other every day. A good example of this relationship is the food chain. With that, I can say that forest has so many things to offer to us. We even regard it as the lungs of our planet. Forest produces the oxygen we breathe in. In fact, the Amazon rainforest in South America is the main source of the Earth's oxygen. Forest has a lot of functions too. It is a major source of food, timber, and medical plants. It is also a huge water reservoir, providing water for agricultural, industrial, and domestic practices. It also protects lowland communities from devastating impacts of storms. At the same time, it prevents soil erosion and sedimentation. Forest absorbs carbon and other pollutants being released in households and industrial facilities. It acts as carbon storage. On the other hand, trees of the forest release moisture into the atmosphere, which can lower the air temperature. Therefore, life forms on Earth depend to forests from their birth until their death.